Today, I'm going to show you a quick start guide on how to create your first campaign in Woodpecker. But before you start, let's connect an email account. Just click on the Connect Your Email button. Now you can choose a two-click Google or Microsoft integration or connect to any other server with IMAP just as you did in Desktop Email Client. I have a Gmail account, so I'm going to use this option. Now, let's create a new campaign. You can call the campaign anything you want. Don't worry, this is not going to be visible to your prospects. Now, let's add some content. You can just paste your email copy from the notepad or any other plain text editor or type it down manually. And make sure not to paste directly from the rich text editor, such as Word, as it might cause some problems with the text formatting. You can use the green personalization buttons to fill your email with custom information relevant to your recipients. Here you can set the limit on how many first email a day you would like to send. Now we recommend to send no more than 50 emails a day, but you can adjust a number to your needs, having in mind your email provider's daily limitations. Here you can specify the deliver time windows in which you want your message to be sent. From this point on, you can add more emails to your sequence. We call them follow-ups, and you can add up to seven of them. These messages will be sent only if you don't receive a response from the previous email within a set amount of time. It's your choice if you want to send them a day after or in a couple of weeks. If you're finished with your email's content, it's time to add some prospects to the campaign. You have three ways to add your prospects. By importing a CSV file, adding contacts manually one by one, or by choosing from prospects who have been previously uploaded to Woodpecker Prospect Base. Let's import a file. Woodpecker will never add the same prospect twice. You can choose to either ignore or update the existing contact with the latest information. All you need to do is to map the columns of your database with Woodpecker fields. Now, let's try to add some more people from the existing prospect base. As the database grows, you can use the filters to find the right people. Woodpecker will automatically detect if a person was contacted before and let you know about it. Now you have everything to start sending your emails. Before running the campaign though, you could preview it or send a test email to yourself. It's all set. From Team Woodpecker, we wish you many successful campaigns.